Hey there, after this video tutorial you will have a basic understanding on how audio slash music works in Game Maker Studio 2. Without sound, games feel hollow and incomplete. There will be shortly after this video an advanced one where I show you how to properly use audio groups for menus and sound distance application. This is Warner Bindi and I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every two days a video. Let's get started. What kind of audio types exist in video games? The industry standard is always music and sound. Music is something that is being played and looped in the background to give a feeling of the environment the player is experiencing. The player has no real influence on that. Imagine playing an RPG and the player is uh, in a town to sell and buy new gear. The music is most likely a friendly tone. On the contrary, when engaging in combat or in a boss fight, the music is fast and engaging to apply a feeling of pressure. Sound or rather sound effects called SFX is being used to give the player short distinctive information in real time. Here, depending on the player, sound effects are being triggered and played out once. That can be a jingle for finding a secret room, a simple jump, or cycling through an inventory or a menu. Both are being needed to give the player a sense of immersion. Some games, like the Dark Souls series, only use faint music, if at all. So, you can a lot of times only hear the rattling of the player armor, which is pretty neat. This unusual approach gives the player the feeling of being lost in a desolate world. And some games overload with the sound slash music, which can lead to some confusion and disorientation when used too much. So basically what you need to know is that you can create your sounds over here and then you just go create sound and you can just assign it to your audio group, which you already have one which is the default audio group. You have it under tools and audio group. And why do I tell you this? Because the audio group is quite important. At the very start of the game, um, the audio group, which is the default one, is going to get preloaded. So all the, your sound files are being stored into memory. That's why we need to adjust them a little bit. Later on, you can of course add a new one, but that is something which we're going to do in the advanced tutorial. Just know that you can find the audio group under tools and audio groups. So um, once you we double click on one, you, you have a few options. Here you just have the name, then you can assign um, well your sound file in here. And one thing you just need to know, it just accepts three formats, which is the WAV format, the MP3 format, and the OGG, which is the smallest format of all of them. And here you can just preview those things, for, this is, for example, an little attack. So let's hear it. And this thing is not just for previewing, but in the game it will be played at 26%. So if you adjust it here differently, well, it will be in your game as well. So here you can already adjust your, um, well, your total volume manually. And under attribute, um, you can pick four of those. And here you need to know is once your um, sound files are being loaded, um, um, GameMaker needs to access them. In here, for example, if you are choosing the compressed version, it means that your, I don't know, MP3 or whatever you're using is going to get compressed down. And, and every time you compress something, it's going to get changed to the OGG format and which is the smallest one. So depending, so it doesn't matter if you're using OGG, WAV or MP3, once you pick this option, it's going to get reduced to the smallest format, which is very good for, uh, well, for your disk space, but it needs to be uncompressed every time you load it. So this is not the best option for, for example, short little sound effects. So for little sound effects, which are being used quite frequently, the best option is uncompressed because you can directly access it and use it without getting compressed and uncompressed because that thing is going to get used a lot if you would go for compressed. But this is just an option. So if you're using something 
which is a sound effect as well, which is quite big, but you just use it a very, very few times. Then you can use the compression or stream version. And on the last thing is, for example, um, and that and that you can of course use for um, MP3s, which are using as a background music. So this option as well is not the worst one. Or you just do it streamed, which means it's not gonna get preloaded. It's gonna get loaded on demand, which is the compressed version. But here just note that every time um, Game Maker needs to wait for sound effects, it can delay your whole game. So here, well, just be mindful of what kind of um, option you choose for your sound effects and for your music and so on. Well, and the other thing, the target options, you can completely ignore them. They're pretty good and decent, so that is all right. And the audio group, which I showed you, there's only the default group, which is gonna get loaded. So here um, you, you cannot choose anything, but you could, for example, assign it to a specific audio group. So that is it. So how can you actually use it? So let's go um, into our room and we just go and put in a test sound, which is creating a sound effect. And how can you play a sound effect? You just go for audio, play, sound. And here it needs a few parameters. First of all, the sound ID, which is just the name of your sound. And we want to play our music. So we just go in here and give the ID, which is just the name of our sound. The next thing is the priority. Um, the lower the number, the more the higher the priority is. And at some point, if you're using quite a few um, sound effects, Game Maker will cut it down so only the higher priority ones are going to get played. But this is a quite a high number, so I don't know if you really have to worry about that. So for example, for the music, we just go for one. And for example, for sound effects, you use 500 or 200 or something like that. And the last thing is if you want to loop it. And then it will be looped indefinitely. And that's why, for example, if you don't use the sound maybe at the room when it's ending, you just and the sound and you just go for audio stop sound and maybe i don't know you want to change um, your audio or maybe pause it then you just go for audio pause and then you just say all right i want to break my music because i don't know maybe you want to um do it because some event is being triggered and you just want your sound to be well paused and then be returned later on or you just go for audio stop which i showed you before so you can for example stop all if you like or you just go and stop this specific sound but that is something well which is not important for now and the last thing is you can of course do something which is audio sound gain this is a little bit confusing because a lot of people don't know what that is. But basically, you can just change gain with volume. That is what it is. And it is with a timer. So you just go, all right, I want to play my music. Here it says level. And that level is, if you, for example, go into that, the volume. And the volume is just between 1 and 0. So, for example, if I want to go for 0. And the time is, I don't know, some milliseconds or one second, I don't know, let's say two seconds. And what does that do? Basically, for example, if I would do that, the music would start playing. And then in those two seconds, it would just fall to zero. This is basically just like a timer. And it just sets your volume to that specific value which you're putting in. So, for example, I don't know. If you want your music to fade out a specific mo moment, or you just want to go, let it go up, then it would be one, and then it will go up. So this is how you can, for example, change in game your audio. But let's check it out how it works. And just a little thing I just put in into our animation: audio play sound. This is the attack thing, and on our test sound, I just put in the music. And if I start the game. Well, and this is how it looks like in practice. So you just have like a few things which are looping in the background, which is the music and 
triggered on some specific events, some sound effects. And that should be it. Have a good one. One up indeed.